Fizz Cannon here. Have you ever wanted to keep your villagers safe from zombies? You can use an iron door, but you can't let them free roam. They won't come home at night, they can't open the door. With a wooden door, they can. Worried about zombies? Not anymore. This, this wooden door is safe from zombies. And the villagers will be safe. I'll show you how to build it, why it works. The mechanics are simple, and so is the redstone. Zombies attack wooden doors. This may not be a valid wooden door. However, this is what stops them. The trap door. You see it? The villagers open doors and leave themselves susceptible to zombie attack. But when they open these, these will be here. Watch. They can't get themselves hurt. There's a trapdoor on this level so no babies can come through, and no babies can jump over because there's a trapdoor up here. So, pretty simple mechanic. Also for decorating, if you wanted you could put uh, oak doors on the inside and spruce doors on the outside. That's the mechanic. Okay, now for the redstone for this door, let me grab a couple of blocks. Gonna need a button. Gonna need a building block. Redstone dust, torch, a repeater, and let's grab a, yep, a regular torch for good measure. Close this back in, and find another spot to build one. This looks good. Okay, the redstone. Let's imagine the doors are here to make things simple. Door, door, handles are in, hinges are out. Door, door, same thing. Oh, I need blocks. We need to put a trap door on the lower block, or the top of the lower block, and the top of the upper block. And same thing over here. <laughs> now that that's done we can get rid of these blocks, they were just temporary and you can put whatever blocks you want in of course if you break these the doors will fall off and you have to put something else now for the redstone I'm gonna put all the redstone on these cobble blocks directly underneath these blocks you'll need torches okay and now we'll need to power these torches so, we're going to put redstone torches on the inside pointing up. You'll know this worked because those will be off. Now we need to power this block. So we'll do this on both sides. We actually need it too wide. We're going to run repeaters into it. Full ticks. And redstone dust. This is pretty much the circuit done. It's just a matter of how you want to wire up your button or your pressure plate or whatever. So what I do is I run the same pattern out by two. I'll show you why. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, then wherever your ground is, you can just put a stone. And of course, you'll need to do the same thing on the other side, which I just find easier to pull it off and break away later. This. Now you could leave it there, but why? Same thing, maybe you have a stone floor in here. A couple things, this can be done with one section. If you didn't want this side, you can literally just tear this whole side out. Gone. And you'd have a single door. But there is a double door design, and it is eight blocks. 
seven blocks and five. Okay, the uh, materials list would be 12 torches and six repeaters and some dust. And then blocks to build it all. Also, of course, your doors and trap doors. Two buttons. So then to note, this whole side here can be taken out. Uh, well, we can just pretend I took it out. Got a button? Yeah. And this could all be done on a single door. Of course, I was flying, so I couldn't do it. Yep. Uh, I'd like to thank Ads. He sped up this uh, redstoning process a lot. Let me show you what happens. Uh, actually. Oh, that helped. They can't get out, see? But they all run for the door. And these guys. You see that? It's, didn't actually work. The villagers open this and the zombies can still bite them. Look. There we go. Watch, you'll see one take damage in a second. Trust me, it happens. I tested it. So there is a solution. And it is missing. <laughs> oh no, they got one right here. It's the iron door. If you go on the inside, and place the iron doors inside. Uh, I don't have any more zombies on me, or villagers, but the villagers can't open these, and this keeps them far enough away that the zombies can't attack them from this side. And everything still works good. So you get your, your good looking door on the outside, and your villagers safe on the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like, subscribe.